What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House Rock Walls, and today we're going to be going over what to expect during your stud service. Let's get to it. Take a look from the bottom. I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them, and they're going to let all they doubt it. Better have. And I've received a couple requests to do a video on this topic, but I think right now is a perfect time. Since my boy Simba's popularity is going up, as well as he has a few litters on the ground now, um, I think it's the perfect time to go over what to expect um, get during a stud service with Proctor House Rock Walls. But before we do that, let's run inside and go grab his dog food from Tractor Supply. We are the local Tractor Supply. Picking up this dog food really quick. Um, also, I had uh, one of my guys ask me where did I get my uh, kennel around my whelping box. And I just want to confirm that I did get it from here. We just got the dog food loaded up. Unfortunately, they only got two bags today, so we're just going to grab these last two. Um, but before we check out, I want to run out back really quick. Um, because I had one of my guys ask me where did I get my uh, kennel that goes around the whelping box. So let's go out back just to confirm I did get it from Tractor Supply. Yes sir, in fact I did get it here from Tractor Supply. This is the one that I have around my dog kennel. Right there. Let's see if there's a price on here. The price on that kennel is $179.99 was not able to find it um, on the actual uh, packaging, but I went up front and they told me the price. So, there you go, $179.99 for the kennel around my uh, whelping box. But let's go front now and check out so we can get back to the house. So I guess this can be the end of the video. Y'all seen what y'all about to get? That boy Sim was a beast. <laughs> nah, but what to expect when getting a stud service with Proctor House Rottweilers? I'm gonna be doing this Q&A style, so let's get to it. So the first thing you guys should expect, and this goes to my people who are coming to my place to do the stud service with Simba, uh, I mean not having his semen shipped, is gonna be the cleanliness and how healthy my dogs are. As you guys know, I'm very big on those two things and I feel like those two things go together. So you guys are gonna see exactly what you guys see on my YouTube, if not better. The second thing is gonna be the quality and the looks of my dogs. As you guys know, I'm very big on going to check out a stud before I do a breeding. And I do that because a lot of breeders um, will Photoshop their pictures and do crazy stuff to their videos to make their dogs heads look bigger or body look bigger and better or even changing the color or markings on their dogs. For me, I'm very big on not doing that. So when you guys come to check out my dogs, they're gonna look exactly the same way, if not better, that they do on video and on pictures as they do in person. Now let's roll over to the Q&A. The first question I get asked all the time, this is probably a question I get asked every single day, is how much does Simba weigh? And my honest answer is I don't know. And the reason why I don't know is because to be honest with you guys, I don't care how much he weighs. That's not important to me. What's important to me is gonna be structure, bone, head type, and height. Not once did you hear me say weight, and that's because if a dog has all of that, bone, head type, structure, height, then weight should not matter. I feel like when people start to lean more on the weight on the dog, it kind of takes away the quality because a, a dog that weighs 140 pounds does not mean that it's quality. I see a lot of breeders hiding behind the weight of their dog because they know the quality isn't there. There's so many times where I see on a Facebook forum or Instagram where breeders are like, oh, my stud weighs 150 pounds. And then I go look at the stud and I'm just like, ah, yeah, your dog weighs that much, but there's no quality or structure in that dog because a lot of breeders try to focus on weight instead of all the other things that I mentioned before. Um, but I do not know how much Simba weighs currently. I am going to be weighing him when he turns two. Um, he turns two on 420. He's an import from Serbia, um, but I will weigh him when he turns two years old. Question number two, is Simba hell tested? Yes, he is. I did his hips and elbows through FCI, and I did JLPP plus over 200 um, genetic defect testing through Embark. And here is his health results. 
And as you guys can see, his hips are excellent. His elbows are rated a BL through FCI, but when you convert that over to OFA, he would be rated a good. Question number three, can we take photos and videos while we're there doing the stud service? And the short answer is gonna be no. And the reason why I say no is because whatever gets put out there um, of my kennel, my dogs, my stud, is all a representation of me. And for me, as you guys know how I do things, it's all about quality, A1 um, images, A1 videos. And for me to maintain that, I need to be in control of what's gonna be put out for my dogs. And like I said previously, there's a lot of breeders who are okay with photoshopping and editing their photos and videos. For me, I'm not. I wanna make sure that my dogs are gonna continuously keep the same quality everywhere they're posted as you guys are gonna find when you come directly to me on my Instagram, my Facebook, or my YouTube. So that is why I say no. Um, if you guys do want photos, videos, and all that stuff, as you guys know, I can do that, but I will not allow my clients to come here with their own cameras and take pictures and videos. Question number four, what happens if my female doesn't get pregnant after the first breeding? The answer to that is this. If you guys did the proper progesterone testing that I require on my contract, I will honor repeat breeding for that specific female. Question number five, how do we register the litter after the puppies are born? After the litter is born, I'm gonna be sending you guys over my email, Simba's AKC number, and his AKC name. And with those three things, you guys can go directly to the AKC website and submit a registration request. After you guys submit that request, AKC is gonna send me an email, I'll go over it to confirm all the information is correct, and then I will approve the litter. It's a very simple and easy process. If you guys do need help, I will help you guys with that also. The sixth and final question is this. Do you help with promoting the litter? And my answer to you guys is yes. I will help you guys promote the litter. When we do the breeding, I will take a picture and post that on my Instagram. And once those puppies are born, I will post those on my Instagram as well. Now, if you guys want more than that, I do offer a promotional package um, as well, which is gonna include the breeding, of course, and then extra promo. If you guys are interested in that, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or Facebook and we can discuss more of what that second package includes. But one thing that's very important, and this is for all the new and upcoming breeders, it is up to you guys to promote and sell your litter. It is not up to the stud owner to advertise and sell off your puppies. If you guys need more help with that, as far as how to promote, how to build your brand, how to get your name out there more. I will be starting a paid mentorship program very, very soon. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you guys do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell to turn on all post notifications to get notified when we do drop all our videos and reels, as well as give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok and a like on Facebook, all at Proctor House Rottweilers. And we are out. Take a lift from the bottom, I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them And they gon' love though they doubt it Better have stamina cause success is a mountain